This is SAT test three, non-calculator question number six. College Board gives you a system of equations and says if x, y is the solution of the system of equations above, what is the value of x minus y? By solution, they mean the x and y value for a solution should make the first equation true and also make the second equation true. Or equivalently, it means that if you graph the first equation and graph the second equation, the point of the intersection of the two lines is the solution. To find x minus y, we're going to have to find the solution algebraically. And I can either solve for a variable by substitution. For example, solve for, solve for x here, substitute that in to the second equation, and use that to find y, and then use that y value in my x expression to find x. And I'll do that. So I have 2x minus 3y equals negative 14. So 2x equals, adding 3y to both sides, 3y minus 14, divide by 2. x equals 3 times y minus 7. And my second equation was 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. So if I take this x expression, and substitute it in for x, I'll only have one variable. So 3 times 3 has y minus 7 minus 2y equals negative 6. 3 times 3 has y is 9 has y. 3 times negative 7 is minus 21 minus 2y equals negative 6. Add 21 to both sides, and I get 9 has y minus 2y, so that's 9 has minus 4 has is 5 has y. 21 minus 6 is 15. I find it easier to phrase that way than say negative 6 plus 21. Well, let's multiply by 2, because 2 over 2 is 1, so I have 5y equals 15 times 2 is 30, divide by 5 y equals 6. Now that I know what y is, I can substitute that into either equation and find x. So 2x minus 3y equals negative 14. 2x minus 3 times 6, because y is 6, equals negative 14. 2x minus 18 equals negative 14. Add 18 to both sides, and I have 2x plus 0 equals negative 14 plus 18 is 18 minus 14 is 4. Divide by 2, x equals 2. So x equals 2, y equals 6. They ask for x minus y, 2 minus 6 equals negative 4. That is choice C. Alternatively, I could use a linear combination take a multiple of one equation and add it to the other equation to eliminate the variable. So I have 2x minus 3y equals negative 14. 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. If I multiply the first equation through by negative 3, 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. 3y times negative 3 is plus 9y. Negative 14 times negative 3, negative times negative is positive, and that would be 56. No, it wouldn't. That would be 42. If I multiply the second equation through by positive 2, 3x times 2 is 6x, negative 2y times 2 is negative 4y, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. If I combine these two equations, negative 6x plus 6x is 0x, 9y minus 4y is 5y, 42 minus 12 is 30. y equals 6. I can substitute that back in, and I'm exactly where I was on the previous method. 2x minus 3y is 2x minus 3 times 6 equals negative 14. 2x minus 18 equals negative 14. Add 18 to both sides. And I have 2x equals 4. 
or x equals 2. And again, x minus y is 2 minus 6 is negative 4. That's it for this systems of equations problem. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.